Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Uh, pleasure to see our next guest, and they are opening up a store here in Vancouver, which is great news. Very exciting. Deb Boswell is joining us. She is the general manager of Run Chow. We're going to be talking about the Icebreaker line. Uh, how are you, Deb? Good, Hi, thank Deb, you. How are you. So uh, tell us about the new store that's on Fourth. Yeah, well, it's a beautiful new store called an Icebreaker Touch Lab, and we call it a Touch Lab so people come in and. Touch feel it. the fabric and touch yeah. everything. Yeah, totally. Well, and for people that aren't familiar with the icebreaker line, I mean, yeah. you guys do such a good job, but it's it's not what people would expect, I think, and, and they're always surprised the first time that they grab one of your products and try yeah. it out. Uh, tell us about the line in general and what yeah. Icebreaker does. So. Well, a good place to start, I guess, is that you know it's merino wool, so it's not that old scratchy wool like your grandma knitted your jerseys in. Yeah. Um, so this is really, really fine, beautiful wool, feels like silk, feels great on your skin, and we designed a clothing system around exactly yeah. how the sheets Well, it are. has natural moisture wicking, right? Yes. I mean, it's the ultimate fabric if you're an active person. I mean, yeah. Okay, All right, let's bring out our first model today. Tell us what he's wearing. It's yeah. from the run line, yeah. It is. We've just launched a new run line. Um, running's become really popular within the Icebreaker fan club of our existing customers. We put together a special range just for runners. So is this all merino wool? Is there other stuff mixed there's, in with it? There's just a touch of lycra. So we've got about 3% of lycra for great shape retention and comfort. And other than that, it's all the great benefits of merino. So no yeah. stink, wicking that moisture away and temp temperature When you regulation. say no stink, like I know because I have one of the shirts, like you can leave it for a couple of days. It's amazing, actually. It's yeah. kind of, it's a bit of a miracle that you can go for a run. Hang yep. something up, let it dry out the next day. TMI, you can stay I, rocking. Heard. I know, yeah. but it's great for runners. No, right? totally. And a lot of people, when they hear merino wool and running uh, or working out in general, they might not think that it has those qualities. Mm. But maybe you can tell us how it all works. Yes, well, merino is naturally um, antimicrobial, so basically the bacteria just doesn't latch onto the fiber. So that's an awesome first just step. Nice, yeah. um, and then it's just so comfortable to wear that um, instead of when you're wet hitting that sort of freeze wall that you get with synthetics, this just feels like a second skin and regulates to your uh, body temperature. Well, and then when you go with the design standards that you guys have created, especially for the running line, you know, mm -hmm. paying attention to where the seams are and making sure everything's seamless where it needs exactly, to be. Exactly, exactly. And we've got little features like special uh, loops for your iPod cords and yeah. you know all the technical Very things Very important so you can be details. comfortable when you're running. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And that's tell right. us about this look. So along the same lines, Merino's actually been really popular with the hardcore runner, uh, sorry, bike cyclists, cyclists yeah. for a long, long time. So now we're excited with our new range. Um, you'll see at the back here, we've got three pockets. There you go. <laughs> perfect. Um, so uh, it's perfect for stashing really? and a pocket. Yeah, yes. that's key when you're on a bike. Yes, exactly. And we have a fantastic new bike short. You'll see it there. It's got an Italian chamois in it. We spent a lot of time working with the designers on that and making sure it was perfect for uh, perfect for road biking. How much time goes into designing something like this when it oh, comes wow. to Icebreaker? That's a good question. Um, that chamois in particular on that bike short took about four years to really perfect. Really? Yeah. Just to get so, it just right. Just to get it absolutely dialed. Yeah. So when you're talking technical, it truly is. Yeah, exactly. We'd rather just wait and make sure we've got the best product than rush yeah. to market with something that people want. Well, and make sure with. that you know, you're getting people out there using it and stuff and making sure it's perfect yeah. for them. Uh, this is the dude's version. Yeah, this is our mountain bike range, so um, sticking with that theme of enjoying ourselves in the nature. So um, this is just a more simplified range. Um, yeah. As I said, more for mountain biking without the pockets at the back. Mountain bikers don't tend to need to use them. So yeah. uh, keeping it nice and simple, but of a loose, more of a loose cut. Still got a nice one on the side just for you know the essentials, exactly. the keys, the ID, so yeah. they know where to take you when they find you. Yeah, the car keys. Kind of and stuff. Now we have a couple great giveaways uh, to do, Deb. Maybe you can yes. tell us what we are giving away sure today. Sure thing. Okay, so we've got... Greatest socks of all time. There you go. The yeah. greatest socks of all time we're giving away from Icebreaker. Um, guaranteed not to stink and to feel really good and blister-free. Yeah, that's the key. When you're running big distance... Are they distance, the double layer? Yeah. yeah. They're single layer, but you'll see that there's extra padding where it needs to be Excellent. for run. Yeah. And then one of our new uh, run tops for guys. Um, and we've got one there for girls as well, so... Yep. Nice. Uh, and one of the great things you guys did is uh, something called the barcode yes. uh, that you launched, uh, I don't know how long ago, a couple of years ago, a few yeah, years ago. Uh, yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. about this because it's a really sure. nice way for people to see the ethics of the company and, and what you guys are really all about. Yeah, well, I've got here with me actually one of the run bras. Um, and inside this, you'll see 
an individual code on a little green label. Yeah. Hold that up there. That's your barcode. Is that's that your our, barcode. Little, our little lammy? Your little lammy. <laughs> yeah, so what you do is you jump on the Icebreaker website and enter that code, and it'll take you to one of the merino sheep stations that um, the wool was from for that made that garment. So of about 160 farms, you can narrow it down to where your garment came from. That's amazing. How, cool. how popular has that become? I mean, I think people are really interested in that kind of stuff. They yeah. want to know that, uh, you know, their product, it's Ethical. neat to know where yeah. it's coming from. Yeah, we've had just under 100,000 garments traced so far. So. <laughs> okay, That's let's really bring cool. out our next model here. What is she wearing? Okay, so this is um, our lifestyle range. Mm -hmm. It's super fine. And uh, that's called the Barley Hood, a technical name for it. Basically, it's a lovely travel piece, really comfy. It's got all of the little details that you need when you're traveling, so a couple of stash pockets. The main thing is, though, it's going to be your perfect top if you want to take one top away for a week while you're yeah, traveling. Yeah, nice comfortable. Really comfy and cute. Very cute. Very nice, thank you. And we have one more look uh, for the girls here. Tell us about this one. This is adorable. Yeah. Okay, so we've, along the same lines, we've designed a little cardi. And underneath it, that's our siren um, underwear range under the nature range. And it's just a really nice, bright, fun uh, line of lingerie that can also be worn as everyday, everyday tops. Nice. So really versatile. Great colors. Uh, yeah. So is the store up rolling now? People can go we in there? We are. And... Yeah, we've been open now for half a day. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it is really exciting. I mean, this yeah. has been something that Icebreaker's been rolling out uh, in North America for the last number of years to yeah, really that's right. give people an idea because it's always been something you had to hunt out. Especially Sorry, I don't mean else. to laugh, but I'm Whoa! extremely distracted. Oh, what up? <laughs> what All right. so Can you explain <laughs> this, please, Deb? <laughs> um, this is our lovely Ramator. <laughs> Um, ah! Rami, do you want to come and meet the team? Yeah, yeah, please. Hey, hey, hey! hey. Oh my God. The ram is scaring me. Wow, this is you. one of the most disturbing things that I think we've ever experienced on this show. And he's also sexually uh, dressed in his beast underwear as well. So. Okay, so if you want to win uh, one of our prize packs we have today, all you have to do is email for your chance to win at urbanrash.ca. Can you Check please out the give new me one? Store. I'm so scared of mascots that I'm just like... <laughs> can you give me one thing? But can you just kiss the ram just right on the nose? Kiss the ram! Don't be scared. Ram, you're not making this easier. I just want to point that out. We're going to take a break.